YouTube, what's going on? Exhibit here. I got an awesome new video for you guys today. In today's video, I'm doing a commentary over the Frontline Amateur Racing event from Arlington that happened on Sunday. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button on. And until next time, guys, much love. I think first things first, gate drop. We're just kind of honestly thinking, I hope nobody hits me because you know Poboso, you know MX Bikes. People just love love going wide and just destroying everybody that's in the inside they just love that shit and you know that and like brady right there like he cut to the inside no guard of anybody ever right there and just dove into the inside line could have took my front wheel out thankfully he didn't because that would have been bad uh but yeah once he did that and he made that tiny mistake we we're able to get the lead um and this track was kind of tricky because you had to make sure that you hit your lines correctly it wasn't hard the track wasn't hard per se everything was doable everything was kind of easy it's just you wanted to make sure everything was cor like you hit it correctly because if you didn't hit correctly you're gonna have that poboso bounce and honestly you're just gonna combine those mistakes and you just didn't want to do that in this track for sure because you'll lose time because the track was so so simple and everybody could do every obstacle um so but it was just nice to see that we were able to get a good start uh lead a lap lead the first lap that was something i haven't done per se in like a racing type aspect um we do it in pubs all the time like uh like versus friends and stuff like that but like in a racing aspect uh i don't really get too many lead or too many laps led uh we did have a heat race a couple weeks back that we did from this series that we actually won um so that was kind of cool i didn't get to record anything for that one because i was just doing it for fun um but we were able to do that uh that kind of put me into like okay i can actually try to do this series on a weekly basis and see what we can get out of it um honestly i think it's a good series to do just because there's going to be a lot of fast guys you can practice if you wanted to try to go for aerial which is like the prestige supercross series going on uh it's a good practice for people that are trying to get to that point uh so i thought it was honestly just a good idea to do and you can see that this is going to pay off i think eventually because it's already i'm out front i'm learning how to lead and that's like the key aspect is learning how to ride consistently and smart enough to like lead these races because you don't want to make too many mistakes and especially in like mx bikes right because if you make one mistake what happens you're going to crash and you're going to continue to crash so i think the most important thing is just stay consistent hit your lines hit your marks if you make a mistake it's okay try do not double that mistake right you just want to make sure that you hit you hit your lines you only do one mistake and you call it good and you just continue the lap with flawless flawless speed flawless everything because if you don't those combined mistakes will ruin your like mental aspect for the game it will ruin your whole race it will ruin your like attitude towards the race it will get you more angry it will make you feel like oh my god i can't do this everybody's faster than me and you just give up and then you start making more mistakes and then you retire and then you quit and you disconnect and yeah we've all been down that path right like put a comment down below you guys have all been down that path because i know i have i know all my friends have my friend just did it last night i'm not even gonna lie he did it last night he rage quit because someone took him out shout out to zuck but but yeah so just try to mimic those you're trying to mimic try to minimize those mistakes you can see from right there I made two mistakes can you guys know what it was i tried to go for the triple on the rhythm section stupid me i didn't do it all race that was the only time i did it the only time i did it and i messed up a tiny bit i still was able to hit the rhythm section right i was still able to go table on table off but you see where it set me up for that whoop section it set me up so bad and so then that whole whoop section was awful which made ltp catch up to me and then you can see that actually what I just talked about, I cleared that out of my mind and I was able to hit the rest of the track clean. Uh, and then we got back into the lead. We we're able to hit a few more good laps out front. And it's just, it's honestly just good to watch this back for me personally, because I'm looking at myself like, okay, I can do this. I'm, I've never really done it. Like never really done this before. So I'm like looking at this and I'm trying to learn what I can do and what I can't do. Right there, you can see that I try to go over the tabletop uh, which kind of kind of messed me up for the whoop section you can kind of see that kind of fucked me up a little bit but you'll notice next lap i kind of do the same thing but i actually hit it over the tabletop and i actually get both tabletops over 
which is something that I think is actually pretty quick uh, instead of going on offs and especially going to the triple onto the table, uh, which was kind of hard to do if you couldn't get it consistently. So I figured, let me try to go over these tabletops. Let me try to go, instead of going on off and roller into the whoops, let me try to go over these tabletops, double into the whoops. And that way it gave me more momentum and more speed going into that whoop section and I can hit it cleaner. I can hit it faster. And then it would just make everything easier. Um, and you can see that watch. I'm coming up here. I'm sizing it up. You can see the line that I was taking every time. And you can see I double over the tables. And then I try double over this and I case double out. But you can see how much better it set me up. Like look at how much smoother I am through these whoops now. Yeah, was it a little bit slower to case everything? Probably. Probably, I'm not going to lie. But it was a little bit faster, I think, because the whoop speed was there, right? But then you can see, like, it just made everything more smooth. I kind of messed up that corner a tiny bit. That kind of that corner was kind of tricky if you're not really good with your poboso, like, physics. With, like, leaning and shit. I really got to learn. I really got to fix that. Um, but you can see that this lap was actually pretty solid. I was up 1.4 seconds. Just dropped to 57, uh, which was pretty decent for me. I know it's not pro level or anything like that i got a 56 hot lap uh for qualifying so 57 in the race not bad right pretty good with the track flowing and stuff like that um and you can see i try to do the same thing three laps in a row i try to go over the table but i can't i come up a little bit short so i was just like all right let me go on off you can see how much slower i am coming off through the on offs compared to the other way so i tried to do that more often but it just didn't work out and i just kind of gave up on that I just went with the over-unders or not the over-unders i just went with uh uh the on-offs and yeah it kind of worked out towards the end but then i gotta say the wall jump not the wall jump but the over-under i hate it i i was honestly messing that up more than anything else in this whole race because i was afraid for my back end to hit it and me go over the bars exactly how i did it which sucks because i didn't want to do that i had a pretty decent lead I crash there i can't do the triple i lose probably i would say three to four seconds just because of that sequence which sucks because now i'm behind the i'm behind ltp again i have to make up this time we are a little bit faster than him so we were able to catch back up to him um but it still just sucks because i could have not made that mistake and i could have been out front you can see what he did he messed up the rhythm section messed up the whoop section i was able to catch right back up to him and then we almost collide right there almost collide but then i was able to barely hit that over under we were able to hit the triple together which was kind of cool and this section right here like it was so tight it was so tight even the wall jump watch this we were so close it was absolutely insane and then the whoop section this was a key point for some passing um especially if someone was on the inside line and someone's on the outside line you can lean or you can take the inside of that whoop section which lets you to the inside of the finish line corner uh which gave you that passing point right uh so that was a key point but you can see we're just kind of following ltp he makes a tiny mistake here we almost collide again he swerves over i almost collide again with him and I'm just like, oh my God. So I was like, I have to make my move here. Kind of make a mistake right there, but it actually works out. Uh, we were able to make a pass and uh, get back into the lead. It was kind of a clean pass uh, and kind of a key important part because he can't roll. He can't uh, skim through those whoops. We kind of made it where a point where he had to double it with me. And I was a little bit in front of him. So it worked out better in my point of view. Um, so I thought it was a good clean pass. Now the wall jump that was the first time i really kind of like didn't get any air which actually i should learn how to do that more because i think it was a little bit quicker um but you can see that whoop section leads you into that inside of the finish line and we were just able to hit that line perfect now we're back out in front uh we got lappers coming up now that is another story um honestly it didn't really play a, too much of a factor uh really to be honest um it played a little bit but it was just more my mistakes than anything um because i was trying to hit my lines and i was trying not to hit them and try to swerve away from them um but throughout it you you know where it's gonna happen you're you're just gonna crash or someone's gonna crash and you have nowhere to go and it was just one of those things right but some of these lappers got out of the way some of the lappers didn't get out of the way 
Sharky right here was able to get out of the way. He waved his hand, let me by. And then I don't know who's in front right here. Um, it is Laggy Boy. Uh, he was also getting lapped right here. I think he makes a mistake in the whoops. Yes, he made a mistake right here in the whoops uh, with him. And I almost collide with both of them. Thank God I didn't do that because that would have been bad for the race because that would have meant I couldn't do the finish line double. Maybe my lap gets messed up, stuff like that. I honestly thought this was going to play a factor for the second place because I thought it was going to give me a big gap and I could just lead into the finish and kind of like cruise. Uh, but that was not the case. Um, not at all. We have some exciting, exciting stuff about to happen because, oh my God, I was down bad. I was down bad uh, coming up here. But we, we hit these, right? I think I messed this up again. Yep. I messed this up. Can't do the fucking triple. I, I hate that. I hate not being able to do it. We didn't crash or anything, but we lose time, which makes me more angry because I didn't want to lose time because I gained so much time with those lappers helping me out, right? Um, but but we just make some we make some more time going through the whoops. We're we were pretty quick in the whoops, actually. Looking at this, like watching this back with you guys right now, like my whoop speed was actually pretty good in that long whoop section, which I'm actually happy about. What do you guys think about the Poboso whoops with the like the one line being lowered or I guess two lines in that one but one line being lowered and the other ones being like pointy I don't mind them per se as long as like they're pretty good and that one was pretty good I don't mind that at all uh, but what do you guys think um, but I think the whoops out of a 90s are just so hard you can see that we're finally hitting that burn like I mentioned and you can see it's a little bit smoother but this is where the carnage starts to happen this is the breaking point vdb goes down thankfully i didn't crash into him but i overshoot this i can't or i try to go for the triple and i should have just doubled it right i should have just doubled it max hits me shout out to evokes max hits me and then we get first person first place go by and then second place europe goes by we're able to make a pass right here um able to make a pass right here somehow europe still gets a good drive in this whoop section to get by uh, but you can see some carnage going on with Laggy Boy right there. And Europe kind of almost gets in play uh, with him almost going down right there. Uh, that was the first time I ever took the outside line. I'm not going to lie. Never took it that before. But it actually shot us pretty good. Um, and then we try to make a pass here on Europe, which was kind of... I didn't like do anything crazy. I tried to just try to push him wide. But he was able to still hit the rhythm section pretty clean. So that's a good shout out to him. And then we just hit our lines again. We kind of mess up here. Uh, which kind of sucks. That's the only problem with banking on that outside berm is if you bank too much, if you bounce too much, your momentum is going to be slowered. You're going to be off off like sequence, not off sequence, but off balance. And then it's going to mess you up for the whoops. And you can see that happen right there. Uh, but LTP goes down on the triple. We kind of try to swerve right here so he doesn't get by me off the wall jump, which I thought was a smart idea, uh, which actually worked out. And then you can see the whoop speed. Whoop speed was there all night really really fast through the whoops so i was happy about that i could have clicked up the fourth thinking back on it um but honestly i just tried to stay consistent with it i didn't want to do anything different than i was practicing or qualifying in so i just honestly just stayed in that third gear and never switched up the fourth i kind of tried fourth a little bit in practice but i didn't really enjoy it so i just stayed with third i thought it was pretty quick um but you can see that we're just hitting the rhythm section we're banking off this and it gives us a good line through the whoops not that time per se but it does give us a better line through the whoops because we're more straight we're not coming in at an angle which is always something you don't want to do in the poboso whoop section because if you come in at an angle you're going to be fucked and it's not going to be good you want to come in straight and you want to just pin it for the win right but no seriously if you come in sideways it's not going to work out and then you can see Yerp right here makes a mistake before the whoops which actually ruins his drive through it you can see that he's doubling you can see right here I try, I take my line every time for the whole race. I think Europe tried to cut down there and it just didn't work. And I try to cut right there. I try to cut down super close to the inside line, but I cased the shit out of it and my bike hit the tough block and we tumbled together. Um, that was unfortunate. I didn't really mean to make him crash. I didn't want to crash there. I kind of want to just steal that inside line. Um, but unfortunately, it took both of us down. I was able to get up a little bit quicker. Uh, than Europe was and then we just started clicking these lines off there's only about a minute half a minute left and then we got two laps so I wanted to just try to push 
push as fast as I can probably uh, to kind of push again to a lead but Europe is right there on me he's not he's not taking anything he's not not taking anything but he's not uh, giving up you know he was like right there he was at great whoop speed all freaking night uh, that was one thing that he had that was definitely I think even though I had good whoops or good like whoops and every or good whoop speed I keep saying good whoops but good whoop speed I think he had a better drive every time which was uh which was good for him now right here what like i don't think what he did was smart uh, at all i i don't think that was smart on his part at all let's run that back you can see i'm in the inside and you can see this arrow right here and that arrow is telling me which way he's going but you can see where i'm angled i'm angled there's no way someone should be going to my right right there's no way someone should go to my right right here however he pushes the limit and his tire is you, can, you can't really see it but his tire is right here going into this tough block there is no way he should have tried to make that pass there it's unfortunate i go down ltp goes by me europe gets by me doesn't go down which sucks but hey it's racing it's amateur racing uh just honestly i don't think he should have done that pass there but maybe he thought kind of like what barsha what happened the other night barsha thought maybe that was his only passing point um but hey it's racing it's amateur it's video games it's we'll get over it just kidding i will never get over that okay coming for blood and then i make the same mistake right here again casing the over under i thought my race was over i thought i was just gonna get third and i was just like all right let me just let me just finish this race right let me put in a couple heaters and let me just finish this race and we actually kind of caught up back up to the leaders, uh, which was kind of surprising. Uh, I think they maybe got into some lap traffic um, because I can't really explain why I was able to catch up because I wasn't going any different speed wise. Uh, I was just still hitting my laps. And uh, so they must have had something going on because uh, we were able to catch up. Um, but that crash with your right here, like you can see i'm hitting the same line every single lap if you fall if you go back in the video i hit the line every single time i, I just don't agree with that pass right there but all right i'm stop i'm stopping her like harping on it because it's over with but but that kind of put me in a no man's land right here nobody's in front of me no one's kind of behind me i have a big gap to fourth and so i just kind of try to ride as fast as i can you can see that i should have hit that outside line right there more often it was a little bit quicker than what i was cutting down um, I just didn't want to hit the Poboso ruts right there. Um, but I maybe should have because it was way quicker than what I was doing. Um, but here's the wall jump. And look at we already caught back up to 217, which is Europe. Must have gone down or must have had something happen. Um, and we were able to catch up to him. Last lap. You can see right in front of us, someone goes down right here. Someone gets T-bone in the side and it was Europe. Europe goes down right there. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think that was a lap rider, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, that was the leader. So the leader just, his back tire hits Europe's front tire and they both, or he goes down. Um, and this is unfortunate because Europe lands on me. So Europe takes me out twice, which is unfortunate. And it's just, it just sucks. But it is racing. I mean, his line, I was watching back on, um, I was watching back on Echo Stream. I think he was streaming the race. And his line was right where I was going. Uh, maybe he should have checked up, but at the end of the day, it's it's whatever. He was trying to hit his line that he was hitting all race. I was hitting my line all race, and they just collided. That's a racing incident, so I can't complain with that one. And then, yeah, we just cruise into the finish in third place. Man, it just sucks because we had that victory, man. We had the victory. We had it. But, hey, what are you going to do? We'll try to come back next week and try to get that victory. Uh, we're going to put in some more time this week, I think, and try to get a little bit better at Supercross because I think we can we could do really well. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this video. It's just rambling on for 15 minutes. So if you guys are actually here to still, put a comment down below that says YOLO, okay? Apparently he hasn't qualified for an aerial. Gosh, I'm sorry. I couldn't break in time. And then my fucking bike goes out of control.